Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to Star Maid. We've had the fleet update just come out and some brand new features along with it. One of the brand new features is the ability to design your own docking procedures, basically dictating the routes that ships take in order to enter into your docks or your hangars or whatever else you've built. Um, there were a number of ways that we could have designed this, but it seemed the most practical way would be to allow players to design it themselves. Uh, and in order to do that, we needed a way that players could actually design a way to basically dictate routes, um, linear movement uh, for ships, all that, and that needed to integrate with docking. Um, yeah, that basically sounds like the rail system anyway, so yeah, it was built upon the rail system. So we have three brand new rail blocks for us to have a lot of fun with. You can see them here, and they all look kind of holographic even, and that's because they're non-physical. Basically, they're only visible in build mode. Uh, you can't collide with them with your ships, even if they're actually on the rail themselves, and they don't add any armor or HP, which is really awesome. They basically allow you to design routes into really cramped quarters without you having these really weird, really eyesore rail blocks lying around everywhere. Uh, so, here they are. Let's jump in with what each individual one does. We'll start with this one, the green one here. It is the pickup rail. Now, the pickup rail is basically a basic rail that you don't collide with and you can't see. It has the same functionality. You can see there's the arrow on the top dictating when a rail docker is moving over what direction it will actually travel. And it actually can be controlled with logic. So you can swap it out. You can set the speed of it using a speed controller. Basically, anything you can do with a basic rail, you can do with this little puppy right here. So that is the pickup rail. Let's jump over here to the blue one. The blue one is the pickup point, and the pickup point is very cool. Basically, it provides an extension to our magnetic docking. Basically, if you place it next to or adjacent to any rail block, then a rail docker that gets within three block radius of the pickup point will snap to the adjacent rail block. Now this works with our pickup points over here, it works with our other block over here which we'll introduce in a sec, and it works with all our other rail blocks that are existing, so your basic rails, your rotators, all that. Basically put this one next to it, and then it basically says this is where you want your rail docker to be docking to the block directly next to this one. A handy new feature as well with this is that if you're uh, approaching a ship which has pickup points on it, and you have the rail docker of your ship uh, actually selected in your hotbar, you'll actually see little icons indicating where all the pickup points are on the ship that you're approaching. Really handy thing if you're looking for where to actually land. Another cool feature for this is actually the ability to switch it on and off using logic. So using an activation module, if it's on, then it will actually work. And uh, any rail docker within three block radius will snap to the adjacent block. And if it's off with the logic, then it just won't do that. The other thing is you need to make sure that it's actually next to a rail block for it actually to work as well. So that is the pickup point, a really cool new nifty little block that's gonna just turn hangers and docking on its head it's crazy now third and final block here is the shootout rail basically it takes the whole elaborate system of using logic to disconnect a rail docker from a rail and then using push beams or some other mechanism to push something into space basically it just has all that functionality into one block how awesome is that basically it works the same as a pickup rail you head in the direction that it's pointing but instead of just traveling at a normal speed it will actually accelerate you and then disconnect you from the actual rail block as well so it'll shoot you off into space this is really handy for launching fighters or drones into space as well as escape pods basically anything where you want to shoot something along a rail and then launch it off this also works with all the logic similar to the pickup rail and the basic rail and everything like that so you can swap it out for any of those other rails using logic if you need a refresher here's a bunch of videos that have all that information and more go and check them out but that is our three rail blocks that are brand new to this update they're really cool and we'll delve into them a lot more in future videos but for now my name is bench and thanks for watching